Hey, what's up, everybody? Another holiday rip. 2024 Tops 10s. So these are unique. I've never seen these before. Um, I don't know if they've done these in years past. If they have, I definitely missed out on these. Um, but it says there's 59 cards in here. Three exclusive holiday tree parallels. So I don't know what those look like. I haven't watched anything on these. I'm hoping they're not, like, I got back here. These are from our three mega rip for holiday. You get an ornament in each box. And I got a J-Rod and an Adley over here. And um, I'm hoping they're not set up like this. I'm hoping those three holiday tree parallels are actual cards. Because that would be pretty cool to have, like, kind of its own exclusive thing. But these are interesting. There's really no other information on here. So I have no idea what to expect out of here. Um, I thought that I read that out of the 59 cards, you are guaranteed at least one short print as well. So hopefully that's the case. I have two of these. We're going to do a quick video here today. Um, let me see if I can get this plastic wrap. I don't even know how to open this thing, so bear with me here. Like I said, I've never seen this format. The Advent calendars, a lot of people have been talking about those. I have not been able to get my hands on those, so I'm not sure that I'll even be doing a... What is going on here? That's interesting. I'm not sure that I'll even be doing a video on the advent calendars because um, I couldn't get my hands on them. This is pretty cool. So it's got like a little insert in there. That I was wondering how the cards don't just get destroyed in there, but they have this thing that's kind of holding them in place. So keep that in mind. Cool looking... Uh, setups all right so it's kind of set up like a essentially like a hanger pack i'm gonna go through kind of slow i have no idea where the short prints would be if they're gonna be mixed in here or if they're gonna be in the middle or what's going on looks like there is some stuff in the middle all right so we got riley green there's Jordan. Will Smith, Sal Freelich, Imanaga, Gunner, Adley Rutschman, there's Kerstad. I bet you the short print's probably going to be mixed in with the, all the other stuff, but I don't need to fly through this. There's Freddie Freeman. Some of the bigger names, I'm just flipping it over and looking at the back codes. So the codes here. If it says 141, if it ends in 141, you know that that's a base card. So if you ever, you know, you're not looking close enough, you don't, you think you missed a short print, just go back through your base and look at those codes. Pajes, Nick Lofton. So now we're getting to the middle. We have an Ezekiel Tovar. Okay, so the tree parallels are going to be these ones. Tovar is a base, so nothing special there. So Kyron Paris, tree that, that is sweet looking border. So it's a tree, like a pine tree with like snow on it. That's pretty cool. So Kyron Paris, we got Vladdy. These are non-numbered, by the way. Vladdy Jr. Henry Davis rookie card. And all right, J-Rod. We'll take that J-Rod. And we do get a short print, Juan Soto. So that's pretty cool. So the J-Rod, I don't, is this called, this might be called the Glitter Parallel. I, I know that there was something called the Glitter. These were, <coughs> excuse me, these were in the Holiday Megas as well. One per box. So if you're going to get one of these tree glitter ones, that's kind of cool, or whatever they're calling them. And we got a Juan Soto short print. So it looks like you are going to get one short print per 10 as well. So the 10s, I, I would, I don't, there's not, a, it's about half the cards, but you're getting less short prints. Uh, I, I think the Megas are probably better just overall, um, just after looking at this, but it's still cool value. I mean, if you can get the 10 for 15 bucks or whatever, at least you know you're getting a short print and four parallels probably. So it's not terrible. See if we can find any of the key rookies. Brian Wu, we got 
Lupar, there's like one of them, Wyatt Langford. J-Rod's base, Curtis Mead. Goldschmidt, I'm just going slow, like I said, because I don't know if they mix short prints throughout or if they're just going to be right there. Meckler, Dylan Cease, there's Tatis. Stott, there's Volpe, Pete. There's Jackson Merrill. One of the key rookies we're looking for. Base card. Kirby, Wynn, and Pauly. All right, so that's the first 10. So those were... I got one more of these. Let's just pop this open and see what we got. I like that the hits are in the middle. What do we got here? So this one's got like some kind of stocking ornament. Cool. All right. Well, I didn't know they were doing stuff like this. So the first one, I don't know. Maybe the first one was supposed to have. <laughs> I might have, uh, maybe I should open a, th you know what? I should probably open a third one. Let me... I just grabbed the third one. We're going to do three for this video because now I'm kind of curious to see if one of these is going to be in that third one. Oh, by the way, I have no idea if you can pull relics or autographs out of here, which is another reason why the Mega is probably a way better way to go. So let's take a look at this. So this is like a little stocking. Austin Riley stocking ornament card. Not number or anything, but pretty cool. Really did not expect that. All right, let's go through this one. It'd be cool if they did put like autographs and stuff in here randomly. I'm sure if they do, it's probably almost impossible to pull them, but Albies pulled his short print in the mega video. Lou Bob, Gavin Williams, Scooball is Bobby Witt. I would love to pull one of Bobby's short prints. Kershaw, now we're getting to the tree parallels, the exclusive trees. So we have Riley Green, Jordan Alvarez, then we got our glittery one is going to be Yoshida, then another regular tree, Juan Soto, and then our short print is going to be right here, Imanaga, yep, it is, so a nice Juan Soto, we'll put that up there with the other one. Imanaga with the uh, tree lights in the wreath around his neck. So again, one short print. Yeah, so it looks like one per box for that. There's Lawrence Butler. There's Junior Caminero, his first time we pulled that card. Base rookie. There he is. The man of the hour. Paul Skeens. Just a base, not a short print, but who cares? He's the guy, one of the guy that, guys that everybody's looking for. Throw him up there. Matsui, Aaron Judge, and like I said, I'm going to open one more here. Mason Wynn. I really had no idea how these were set up, so it probably makes sense to open three in a video anyways. All right, let's get this third one cracked open. This one, this one's going to be a little tough to get open. There's not a lot of plastic on here. There we go. All right, let's see if we got one of them stocking ornaments again. We do. 
I wonder if we just got shorted one in the first bot in the first ten. You guys, let me know if you have any experience opening these. If you're uh, supposed to get a stocking ornament or not, because we did we didn't in the first one and we did in the next two. So, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. Those are a nice touch uh, to this format if you are supposed to get one in each pack because you know you're getting an ornament in a mega. So, Freddie Freeman. Put him right in the middle here. All right, let's get to the cards. <clears throat> Go a little quicker here. There's Shohei, and it is a base. Pulled a lot of the Shohei bases in these videos so far. There's Ellie. Base. Pete Crow. Is this one mangled like the first Pete Crow that we pulled? It is not. Good. We got a replacement Pete Crow for the one that we pulled that looked like it went through a wood chipper. There's Acuna, Rafaela, Mike Trout, Strider, Suzuki. Here comes the exclusives. Gunnar Henderson. It's a nice one for the tree parallel. We got Wilson Contreras. We got something purple in here. Purple. So maybe we got a numbered card. Hmm. This will be interesting. Jack Leiter. And we got Jeff McNeil. Funny story, Jeff McNeil. One of the lowest numbered cards I ever pulled out of Holiday. I think it was the lowest I've ever pulled was a Jeff McNeil. It was a piece of like a Santa hat. And it was number. I still have the card. It's too far away. Otherwise, I'd grab it. But it's a piece of a Santa hat, like in a relic. And it was numbered like 9 of 10 or, or something like that. Raphael is going to be the short print. With the uh, Christmas lights around his neck there. And then what is this purple card? It's upside down. Whatever it is. Cardinals. Mason Wynn. Hopefully this is numbered. So a nice Raffaella short print. And Mason Wynn. It is numbered. 92 of 99. That's an awesome pull. So you can pull numbered cards out of here. I'm assuming they threw autos in here as well. I mean, probably at ridiculous odds, but that's pretty cool. Oh, does this one got a ding in it too? It does. Well, it's a little... The corner's a little white on the end there. You can probably see it. But a Mason win, 92 of 99. So we get a numbered card out of the rip. That's pretty cool. Let's finish this off here real quick. Let's see if there's any key rookies. Because we know there's not going to be any more short prints in here. Junior Caminero again. Juan Soto, Harper, and that's all she wrote. So that wasn't bad at all, especially with that numbered card. I mean, I didn't pull a numbered card in the Megas. So the, I, I know that every year the Megas are really tough to pull numbered cards, but that was pretty cool to get one out of these tins. So, again, Mason Wynn, rookie to 99. And we also got, out of the three boxes, we got three short prints, Rafaela, Imanaga, and Juan Soto. So again, really, really fun rip. Uh, always a fun set in general, especially if you're opening it up with kids. Highly recommend this product. And actually, I recommend the tins. They're pretty cool. So if you want to continue to follow along with all the videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.